Greetings EOS community, Ross here from EOSphere and today I just wanted to make this quick video to talk about one of the hottest topics on the EOS platform right now and that is RAM and the RAM market. So what is RAM? RAM is random access memory, essentially um, a very very high performance storage medium, uh, much faster than hard disk. Because EOS is a high performance uh, blockchain, it runs its database inside RAM. You must have heard EOS does uh, half a second block times. So if there are thousands of servers in the world, there must be a whole lot of RAM available, right? You know, thousands of servers running the EOS blockchain. But here's the thing. Block, the, the blockchain is a decentralized platform with the same copy of database running in every single server's uh, memory. Identical copy, right? Meaning that you can never have more RAM than is actually available in one of the single service servers running the network. That makes RAM incredibly precious. And uh, going out to upgrading RAM isn't as simple as going to a local PC component uh, uh, store, but it means a change in the contract. It means coordinating across all of the block producers and all of the, the full nodes out there to actually increase that amount of RAM. So Block One, when they originally uh, developed the EOS IO platform, realized this. And they decided to separate RAM and create a market for it, separate from uh, CPU and, and network. So originally they said, in this market, whatever you purchase the RAM for, you get the same amount back when you sell it. And when, when I say you buy and sell RAM, you're not buying and selling from other users, you're actually buying it from the system contract. There was a concern though. If I was purchasing RAM and only got the same amount when I sold it back, there probably wouldn't be much of an incentive to sell it back. Uh, you know, to actually relinquish your stake on that RAM. So they, they decided to use uh, an algorithm and that algorithm happens to be the, the Bancor protocol, which says that the more RAM that's sold and the closer you get to the total amount of RAM available on the network, the more expensive it's going to get, which is all well and good because uh, then there might be an incentive for these RAM holders or uh, the owners of this RAM to actually sell it back to make a profit, right? But what, what actually happened is a whole lot of speculators got involved. And those speculators have essentially done like a land grab, like a, a, a ram squatting, I've heard it, heard, it, heard it said, where they've gone and purchased a whole lot of the, the RAM available on the network to a point it's 55 gigs worth of RAM has been purchased. And you know we're only using a few gigs of it. And that's because they want to you know, sell it as a profit purely for that. They have no intent on actually even using this RAM which is making it very difficult for DAP developers, guys that are wanting to airdrop tokens, guys that want to create accounts on the network to, to even get hold of RAM. So how do, you, how do you fix this? So there's been quite a lot of community discussion about it. I've heard some interesting, interesting points. Uh, one was from Dan saying that perhaps there was some kind of tax that we could implement on RAM. The other one was a great article um, that I read from Annex from Grey Mass and he said maybe there's some kind of inflection point that after a RAM reaches a certain price you would then uh, you know be able to sell it for less and less so it actually like decreases in value yeah, which is also a, a possible option so it, it still hasn't specifically been solved but in saying that the RAM price at the moment although it went exorbitantly high over the last uh, you know few days I noticed today it's, got, it's dropped quite significantly, which maybe means that the market mechanism that Block One intended is starting to perhaps work. And maybe it's working because some of the developers are getting a bit smarter with their utilization of RAM when they actually develop their smart contracts and dApps. Well, whatever it is, there's still a lot of conversation to be had and the solution is probably just around the corner. Would love it if you gave, gave us your opinion in the comments below or come and join us in, the, in our Telegram, which I'll leave the link. And uh, let's, let's hear your opinion and, and what ideas you have. Maybe, maybe you'll be able to, to solve the, the RAM issue at large. Thanks.